We really struggled to get rid of the clouds today that really stuck around uh, for a majority of the day, keeping temperatures on the cooler side. But as we head into the early morning hours, we should be able to thin those clouds out just a little bit, hopefully enough to view the Geminid meteor shower that is happening tonight. If you want to see that, you can look out around 2 a.m. Uh, that's when peak activity will be. And this is actually known as the best uh, meteor shower of the year because of the high rate of meteors per hour. Uh, expecting about 60 to 120 per hour. You can look out towards the east to see that and hopefully get away from city lights and you should be able to uh, view that. Visibility won't be the best that it's ever been, but it was a new moon tonight, so that does mean you don't have to compete with the moonlight uh, to see those meteors. So hopefully we'll be able to thin out those clouds and get a few glimpses of some meteors, but we're seeing pretty heavy cloud cover across the area right now, as well as continuing to see some snow bands uh, moving across the Mississippi River Valley now into winter. Nona heading towards La Crosse, as well as another one up towards the north heading towards Wabasha. Once these move out, we'll stay quiet for the rest of the evening hours. Temperatures continuing to drop. Right now we're at 24 degrees in Rochester, as well as in Preston, 26 in Cresco and in Mason City. So temperatures in the 20s now. Winds pretty breezy out of the west, about uh, 5 to 20 miles per hour. So this is keeping our feel-like temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than our actual air temperatures. So as you head out for the rest of the evening. Keep that in mind. It will be cold and it will be breezy. As we head into the next couple of days, temperatures will be staying on the cooler side, similar to what we saw today, highs in the 20s. Now, as we head towards the later part of the week, a little bit of a warm up is ahead of us. We'll be back into the low to mid 30s uh, by Friday and into the weekend. Future track, once those little snow bands move out for the rest of the evening, we'll be staying quiet. There's a little bit of that clearing. Hopefully, we'll see just enough so you can get a glimpse of that meteor shower. Again, look out towards the east to get a glimpse of that. As we head into the morning, notice clear skies, temperatures in the teens. But because we have those clear skies, winds coming in out of the north, I think a lot of us will see temperatures in the lower teens, wind chills in the single digits. As we head into the afternoon, some clouds build back in. Temperatures, again, staying in the low 20s for a lot of us. Stick with the clouds as we head overnight Monday into Tuesday, but temperatures still cooling down into the teens, so another cool start as we head into Tuesday. Tonight, 13 degrees for the overnight low, so again, bundle up as you head out the door. Wind chills will be pretty cool and will stay breezy. Winds coming in out of the northwest about 10 to 20 miles per hour. For Monday morning, it's going to be a really cold start to the work week for us. Most of the wind chills will be into the lower single digits, maybe even below zero up into Zambroda and Plainview. So really a cool start to the morning. Bundle up as you head out the door tomorrow morning. 22 degrees for the high in the afternoon. Seeing some little bit of sunshine, partly sunny skies. Wind staying breezy though out of the northwest. Seven day forecast for us. Staying cool as we head towards Tuesday as well. 26 degrees for the high. Then a little bit of warming up as we head towards Thursday and Friday. Uh, lots of sunshine continues. We'll continue with these quiet conditions. Uh, so overall, Barrett cold for the next few days, but looking forward to a little bit of warm up for the weekend. Yeah, and it looks like a clear week ahead, but I'm still holding out for some snow before Christmas. I know. We're we'll hoping see. for it. We'll <laughs> see. Thanks, Amanda. Coming up next in